Gemini, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we have a reading for you. No particular subject, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna take an energy, something we know, something we don't know. Recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there will be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your third house, this could be for you. Uh, thank you for the support. All the information is in the description box. Um, Cross watchers, you're more than welcome. So that was the King of Swords jumping out there. Um, the King of Communication, Intellect. We do have Mercury Retrograde. Yes, it's in Virgo, but you guys are ruled by Mercury, so it's always affecting you guys. Every time it retrogrades, three, four times a year. It is where it is, Gemini. Mars is currently in your, uh, in your sign, so in your first house. Mars doesn't particularly like being in Gemini. There's no coincidence, it's represented by the Nine of Swords in Tarot, so anxiety, sleepless nights, you know, worry. Um, and like I say, with it being in your first house, that can go in any direction, so there could be a lot of issues. Not long though, a couple more weeks, um, and that energy will disperse, it will move into your second house where you'll get that kind of fire to um, pursue something in terms of passions for yourself, maybe to earn a bit of money. <clears throat> things just start moving a bit better for you. Um, okay, let's dive in. Let's do one more. This is going to be a beautiful reading. Has something shifted? We have the Ten of Cups. The most beautiful card going, really. It's, it's, it's delight. But something has shifted because to get to the Ten of Cups, if we break it down, is Mars in Pisces. So Mars is cap is um, is the Tower, and the Pisces is the Hangman. To get to this, we need to shake things up. We need the Tower to release the the Hangman. Um. So yeah, I'm hearing Elbow, um, the British band Elbow, uh, one day like this. Um. It's going to be a beautiful day. But in particular, because holy cow, I love your eyes and only now I see the light. It's like the pennies dropped for something. You know, the clouds have dispersed. So somebody might have just had a realisation here, whether you've had a realisation here, maybe it's recognising something that's either working, not working, maybe a, a realisation about uh, another person or they have with you, who knows? What do we know? What don't we know? Recent past. Yeah, something has ignited you. Advice. And potential outcome. Wow. Okay we have the Nine of Pentacles. So we're definitely talking like direct now. Nine of Pentacles is Venus in Virgo. Venus has just moved into Virgo um, a couple of days ago. And so Virgo rules your fourth house of home. So this could be, um, you know, beautifying your space. We do have two fours here indicating a lot of energy towards the home, but it just feels like something, something is completed. There's, there's some sort of cat. In fact, the, the energy I'm reading here is, is Comfrey, which is a Saturn card. Your advice is the world, which is Saturn. Something's completed. Completion, achievement, completion of cycle, success, closure, completion of long journey, wholeness, mending. Reversed, making the same mistakes, lack of closure, feeling incomplete, emptiness. Comfrey represents wholeness, completion and closure of a great cycle. The reef symbolises the cycle containing the energy of the past, present and future, hovering over the clouds to note how the foundation of all cycles are grounded in mystery. Comfrey majestically grows in the centre, representing the axis mundi, the sacred heart, the sacred will that pulses the great mystery. Comfrey has appeared today to signal that a great cycle is nearing completion. Stay aligned as you continue to prune and heal the garden of the self. It's definitely you pruning the garden of the self, especially healing this Five of Swords energy. 
Look closely into repeated patterns, persons or situations that keep showing up in your life. Draw upon Comfrey's power to mend and find wholeness in lessons and patterns that need closure. You're doing something pretty amazing here. What we're aware of is the Four of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups is, can be a card of apathy. Um, I almost feel like the universe is gifting you something here. Or oh, this penny is about to drop. And you might not see this coming. In fact, this might be a bit of a sh surprise to you. What we're not aware of is the Four of Pentacles. Now, the Four of, Four of Pentacles is the sun in Capricorn. So the sun highlights the devil. Um, my concern here is being closed off. It's like the universe has seen you complete a major cycle, trying to offer you something, but you're switched off to it. Because uh, I'm kind of seeing myself here. Um, <laughs> um, it's reminding me of, because I, I was thinking the other day, so, oh, you know, I wonder if I'm going to meet anybody soon. Um, and then my guides were like, well, you know, are you open to it? I was like, well, of course I am. And then they just showed me myself in the cafe where I've got my headphones in. It's like, don't, nobody talk to me. <laughs> um, so this is something she's got her headphones and it's kind of like, open yourself up. Um, be open to receive because I feel like either there's more opportunities around you or something's about to hit, something's about to drop. Like I said, because holy cow, I love your eyes. And only now I see the light. But we only can see the light when we start letting go. We start opening up the heart chakra. Because right now in that four of pentacles, it looks pretty closed off. In the recent past is the ace of wands. Something is, ig is ignited. Um, this ace of wands is coming in and you just don't see it yet. So there could be a lot of passion coming your way. There could be a lot of uh, creative ideas. It could be something that just brings you some sort of happiness. You just, for some reason, not quite seeing it yet. And it could just be because you've been, you know, Mars in, in your first house. Mars was previously in your 12th house. Jupiter has been in the 12th house for a year. Uranus is in your 12th house. You've had a lot of energy in the 12th. It's draining, it's tiring. The 12th house is all the unseen, what we don't see. But there's a lot that goes on. So you might just be physically worn out, but your advice is this is nearing completion. There's a cycle that's complete in here and it's actually opening you up to something wonderful. Your outcome is temperance. Now temperance is, is a beautiful energy here. I'm actually seeing it in a different deck where she's, um, she's, she's, she's got the, I can't remember which deck it is. Uh, uh, Cosmic Slumber, thank you. Cosmic Slumber Tarot. And she's got um, a, an eagle and a lion. And it feels like there's this perfect blend of um, higher vision and the lion being that leader. If, you know, if this would be like a, a sacred masculine type of energy. And again, don't get caught up in genders. You guys are air, so you're naturally gonna have that more uh, emperor energy doesn't mean to say you're, you're the, the masculine type, but there's, there's something that seems to be just coming together now and it's awakening. Again, if we die, if we jumped into the herbal astrology, a representation of this temperance card, not only is it Shisandra, perfect balance, but with that eagle and the, um, and the lion is cordyceps, the mushroom, and lion's mane, the mushroom. Revival, leadership, strength, ready to march forward, ready to lead. I think somebody's somebody that maybe didn't notice you is now noticing you whether that's career romantic friendships whatever they're, they're starting to see an authentic side of you or you with somebody else again flip it as you see fit so we're going to look at um what did i want to see i want to see where the ten of wands is because that's saturn in Tem uh, saturn in sagittarius world meets temperance and i think the ten of wands is going to represent something that's just it's going to cause that holy cow, you know, when something hits that uh, hits that mark. And I also want to see where the um, uh, the tower and the hangman is. Tower. 
tower is with death and the five of wands. Okay, there's a shake-up. Anything that is drama-related is getting removed from your life. Anything that just causes you unnecessary, I've had enough of this, I'm choosing peace, temperance, peace, is getting removed. Anything that is causing gossip, unnecessary tension, and that's, that's one shadow aspect of, you know, and again, not getting at you here, guys, but Gemini's rule communication, you're also the twins. It can be a shadow energy, it's gossip. Jupiter in your sign, Jupiter expands whatever it hits. Good, bad, ugly. And anything that is gossip is, is being highlighted here and being destroyed. It doesn't have to be gossip, whatever it is, whether it's just childish behaviour, I don't know. But something is shifting dramatically. man is with the high priestess and the six of swords and the moon straight after the high priestess you guys are linked to this herbal astrology deck that screams to me um bob insana which is trust trust in your journey it, especially the times where you can't see um so bob insana is a heart chakra opener very important here and it is um um it, has, it carries the energy of uh, Neptune and the Moon, hence High Priestess and the uh, Hangman. Trusting in the Unseen. So the Ten of Wands is with the Page of Wands and the Knight of Cups. That Ace of Wands has hit its mark with this Ace of Wands that's in the past. The Page of Wands, this is a message. Something has got too much and now an offering is coming in. I think you've, um, you've intrigued somebody, Gemini. I think somebody is looking at you in a very different way. And it could be because Mars has been in the first house, it's done some sort of magic for you. Because the nine, nine of Swords, Mars in, uh, in Gemini is with the Magician and the Two of Cups. Next to the Fool, some brand new beginning. Final card, the King of Cups. Emotional satisfaction. Gemini, it's going to be a beautiful day, okay? You've done a lot of significant work here. You don't need to oversell yourself in any aspect this is. You are being noticed, whether you recognise this or not at the moment. Um, do not close your heart. Your heart needs to be open to receive the goodies. And um, as long as you, you know, don't do that, as long as you're receptive to what the universe is trying to bring you here. Again, this doesn't have to be about romance. Um, the universe is trying to gift you something. And it's, it looks pretty beautiful. Especially this temperance and the nine of pentacles. This could be like a exotic travel who knows especially with the world here um yeah fantastic it, it feels like something's turning for you i think something's shifted um an awareness a penny dropping um seeing the light i i i, I could go in so many different directions here but um beautiful cards okay in your extended we'll just clarify these we'll try and see what you're missing um with this uh, four of cups what you're not noticing um, but I want to see what this this leads because it's going to be um, well. Just I, I knew it was going to be a beautiful reading, um, and it and it certainly was. Mars in Pisces, Moon in Cancer, Sun in Capricorn, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Venus in Virgo, Venus in Aquarius, Leo, Mercury in Cancer, Sun in Gemini, Mars in Leo, Mars in Aries, Venus in Aries, Jupiter in Leo. We have cups, we have wands, we have pentacles, and we have swords. Everyone is here. Those are your standouts. Take care. Let me know. See you soon. Bye.